hello guys welcome back to another video so today i've got for you yet another new thing on this channel which is a van um i've never featured a van on this channel yet so um yeah i think i guess everything has a first so right now i've got a friend of mine that's asked me to uh, see if i can sell his van for him and i'm gonna give it my best shot so as always what i'm gonna do is a quick walk around just so you can see the condition of the car and then well the van sorry <laughs> and then um i'm going to tell you some details about it and then we're going to jump inside and i'm going to show you the interior and everything so <clears throat> here we have a mercedes-benz sprinter 314 cdi blue tech long wheel base it is a 2.2 liter diesel engine it is a uh, euro 6 car so it's good to drive in ule's zone so like birmingham bristol london stuff like that um <clears throat> it puts out 141 brake horsepower it was first registered on the 23rd of march 2017 and it has a valid mot until the 2nd of april 2025 so loads 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 of mot i mean that's pretty much got a full year's mot out of it um road tax it's 335 per year and in terms of CO2 output, it puts out 206 grams per kilometer. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and the, um, the previous, well, the, the last MOT, all it did was um, uh, it had one advisory, and that was one of the tires, um, which has been replaced anyway. So, but yeah, there's not much, it's not much like technical details because it is, obviously, it's a van, it's a workhorse. Um, it drives absolutely beautiful. I mean, I drove it. Um, my friend lives in London, and I drove the car from London to where I am. Uh, that's about a two and a half, three hour drive. So, drives absolutely beautiful. There's no issues whatsoever. Um, it's got this protective mask on the front, um, just to save it from like stone chips and stuff like that, which is it's really cool. Uh, obviously you've got a step here if you need to if you need to just well, I don't know wash the windscreen I guess sorry I, there's not much that I uh, I know about vans because obviously um, I'm mainly into cars rather than vans um, it's got really big door pockets we've got a bottle holder there um, got uh, your electric windows over here and this is your lights this is where you adjust the position of the headlamps and this button uh, you can turn on the uh, rear uh, lift obviously you can keep it off while you're not using it at the top here you've got a cup holder and then you've got some cubby just over the, uh, the steering wheel you've got some more storage there more storage there plenty of storage there with another cup holder and obviously you've got your glove box and then here you've got your radio with your um, climate control and then underneath there you've got your hazard lights and this is for the um, to lock and unlock the the van uh, you've got some storage in there and then down here you've got another cup holder with a 12 volt socket and what I believe it is an ashtray I is it an ashtray yeah yeah, so that would be an ashtray. Um, let's just jump in. Oh, oh lovely. So, it does have this multifunction steering wheel? Obviously, it is a 2017 model, so it's it's fairly new. Um, it does come with cruise control key. The same thing with old Mercedes. Um, when you twist the key, you know with with normally with cars you have to twist the key and keep it there until the car starts with mercedes you don't have to do that so you just twist the key to third position second position do that and then the car will start on its own which is pretty cool now as you can see there's no lights in the dash whatsoever besides the handbrake but obviously that's just normal um the car's covered 154,886 miles so not it hasn't covered a lot of miles um maybe it's a lot for a car like a, a small little petrol car but for a, a 2.2 liter diesel van mercedes that's nothing 
uh, I mean, I've seen these cars with over 300,000 miles plus, and they just keep going strong. The gearbox is in perfect working condition. There's no notches. There's no hesitation. There's no jerkiness. There's no funny noises coming from it. So that, that's absolutely fine. Um, engine sounds absolutely beautiful. There's no issues with the engine whatsoever. Like I said, it does come with cruise control as well. This is for your uh, lights and indicators. And that is, oh, actually, no, sorry. <laughs> Completely forgot Mercedes only has one. So this is for your um, high and low beams and for your window wipers as well. So that side is absolutely clean. Um, this is to change uh, what you see in there. So you've got Bluetooth. No messages. Oh, so yeah, usually if there would be any faults or anything, it would come up here saying that there's any messages or anything like that. Um, engine oil level, not with engine running. Service being 24,800 miles. Cooling temperature. So yeah, yeah. So this here controls that uh, info tech. Well, that screen, that trip computer there, and this is for your Bluetooth. So you got your for your. Um, phone connectivity and this is for your volume up and down and then radio works absolutely fine so yeah that works out obviously I'm not gonna leave it on because I don't want you to distract my video but you can see in there so you've got radio media telephone mute system and then to uh, answer to reject the call and then here you've got all your presets for your radios and everything like I said, you've got your cruise, your cruise, your um, climate control here. So this is where you select the temperature, this knob here. This is where you select where you want the air to come out from. This is to turn the fan speed higher or lower. AC, recirculate and uh, rear window defrost. And over here, you've got like a little clip. Sure now. So if you've got like a pad or something like that, you can clip it onto there actually does show you that you can clip like schedules and stuff like that um, like I said over here you've got like a um, cup holder with an uh, ashtray I believe that's a place to keep some coins maybe if you're gonna go through tolls or stuff like that and then over here you've got your 12 volt socket so this closes up just like that um, got air vents obviously on each side at the top so you've got some storage uh, just above the uh, sun visors uh, and then obviously you've got absolutely massive sun visors both for the passenger and for the driver and then you've got that um, storage compartment at the top there as well you've got your interior lights here uh, and obviously your rear view mirror and yeah that's um that's pretty much it in terms of the cabin let's just um have a look at the back see what that is um, there's another thing I actually before I show you the back there's another thing I want to show tell you about this not show you but tell you about this so actually this van has a immobilizer fitted and trust me you will struggle to find where the immobilizer is so in order to start the, so let's say you get home you park the van um, you press that immobilizer I'm just showing different parts of the car. Trust me, it's not where I'm pointing. Um, but you just press that immobilizer and the car will just l l not lock itself, but you won't be able to start it until you press that immobilizer again. Now, the position of that immobilizer, <laughs> I was impressed is, is the least to say because Honestly, if somebody would have paid me, I don't know, a hundred pounds and gave me half an hour to find it, it would probably take me ages to find it. And still, it's it's somewhere where you you wouldn't you wouldn't even begin to look. So, yeah, um, that's obviously as a security feature for the car. So you park it up, you press that immobilizer button, and the car just shuts off completely. Um, so. Basically, you won't be able to start it unless you press that button and then you have the key and everything. So that's obviously my friend, uh, because he lives in London, like I said, um, the the rate of which 
cars and vans and stuff like that are stolen over there is is ridiculous so he's put in as many safety features as he could um he also told me that he usually what he used to do was uh, besides the immobilizer besides locking the van besides putting a pedal uh, lock and a steering wheel lock he also took two fuses from somewhere uh with him so shut up sir um so yeah it was basically in impossible to, to steal um so yeah obviously if you do decide to buy the van then I'll obviously show you what that immobilizer is and um yeah it's a, it's a pretty smart it's a pretty smart position um but i will not show you um the immobilizer if you just come to view it because it's not it's not right because if i show you where it is and you don't decide to buy it then obviously it's it becomes useless so if you do decide to buy it we go ahead you you pay for the car and everything that's what i'll show you where the immobilizer is and everything because obviously then you own the car um over here you've got a button where you can turn the uh the rear lift on so you just press that and that turns on the rear lift which we're going to go in over now actually I'll just turn the car off so pointing to the on. no lights came on anyway <laughs> so let's just turn this off for now head over to the rear and the rear lift it's very easy to operate so you've got a little hook here which holds it in place but that's not all that holds in it in place because over here to this side you've got this metal bit and then you've got that that slides in as it goes up to stop it from move, moving so obviously that's not gonna fall down and then down here you've got well can't be any more explanatory than that the up arrow is to take it up and the down arrow is to roll it down so you press the down arrow starts moving down like that so you can see over to this side now it's this bit let me see if I so yeah it's this bit that goes up into there to stop it from moving down but if I was to remove this now this goes down just like that and then press this take it all the way down just like that and then over here in the rear um you, uh, it does come with a lock for this but obviously you can use your own if you want um but to open it just pull on this handle just like that and then lift and then it just goes up like that now it's got uh it's got a couple of lights so it's got one there and one there and these are um sensor activated so motion light activated so Let's say if it's dark uh, and you walk in front of it, you can probably see just at the top there, that's a sensor, that, uh, like a motion sensor, and that activates it and it turns the light on. Over here, you've got another button. Well, same thing to operate this. So if you press the up button, this will just go up. You raise me up more than I can make. I'm going to stop singing now. All right. So now we're getting into the van. Obviously, you can lift this up. Um, it will probably, all these marks, they will probably come off uh, with a C cut and stuff like that. But then again, it's a, it's a works horse. It's a work horse. Um, it's not going to be, it's not going to be immaculate because obviously he's been using it to, uh, carry stuff even now in here there's a we need to take this out but there's a shed in here and like a little uh, lawnmower um, but yeah I need to take that shed out obviously it's not going to come with the shed um, so yeah that's, uh, that's pretty much it um, it is absolutely massive obviously it is a looting van in there so you've got a spare tire and you've got one of those uh uh, wheel stop so you can put that under the wheel if the car is on an incline just to basically help the 
handbrake and the park brake not to put too much pressure on it so but yeah the lift works absolutely fine there's literally no issues with it whatsoever press the down button and we're going down and that's pretty much it and then obviously you can load this up uh press the button lift it up push everything in there i mean if you to be honest if you're looking to buy a van you 100 percent know more about vans than i do um because like i said i mainly sell cars this is like a one-time thing i'm doing like a favor to all of my friends so yeah if you have any questions in regards to the van just message me um Obviously, I'll have to ask my friend uh, whatever you're going to ask me because it's not much that I know. Oh, great. Sorry. <laughs> right. Take me down. Sorry, I'm lazy. I don't want to jump. That locks just like that. And now it's locked. You can't lift it all, obviously. Put a lock there so people can't break in. And then lift it up. And then just come over here, pick this thing up like that, and then put that little yellow thing onto that little bolt and then press the up button keep pressing it until that's it so now it's all locked obviously this thing can't fall down so yeah that's uh that's pretty much it it's not much else i can tell you about i mean it's already a 17 minute long video um but yeah like i said the car drives absolute the van sorry the van drives absolutely beautiful um there's no like i said no issues with it whatsoever um aesthetically it looks good um i mean if you're expecting a showroom car then you're gonna be very disappointed because it's it is a van it's it's made to to work so obviously it's going to have a few scuffs here and there but all in all you can probably tell from the from the video it's in very good condition and it drives absolutely beautiful like absolutely beautiful speaking of which let's drive it i'm gonna go and park it oh. all right taking my keys out let's put this on ultra wide all right so key closing the ignition like i said second position do that and it just starts straight away All right run the brake drive and brake is just a normal handbrake and here we go i love this high ride i love this uh high driving position so nice yeah so there's no knocks coming from underneath there's no bangs or anything like that is the gearbox changes gears very smoothly so yeah absolutely lovely Trying not to break stuff. I need to park it somewhere in there. So that's gonna be fun. Alright. Don't break anything, don't break anything, don't break anything. Ooh, that's gonna be narrow. Is it not gonna go? Is it gonna pass? Yeah, of course it's gonna pass. That was close. All right, now I need to make sure. Sorry, I 
I'm uh, it's not it's not great filming and it's not great filming and trying to park this thing because uh, problem is because I haven't got like I said I haven't got experience in driving vans um, it's not it's not great but somebody who's gonna buy this thing probably has been driven vans in the past so anyway I'll leave the video here thank you very much for watching if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me and yeah hopefully you'll like it uh, like I said, there's literally nothing wrong with it. So, yeah, thank you very much. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.